What's up guys, this is Nick from stridewise.com and today I'm comparing the flagship Capto boots from two of the most talked about boot companies in the United States, Red Wing and Thursday Boot Company. This video is going to be something special. I'm talking about one of the oldest and I think the most popular heritage bootmaker in the US, Red Wing, founded in 1905, going up against the newcomer, the industry, Thursday Boot Company, founded in 2014 and really making big waves as a newer company. Now, I have not just gotten these boots out of the box. These are not brand new boots. I did recently condition them so they look kind of nice, but I've really put these through the paces myself. The Iron Rangers here, that was the second pair of boots that I ever owned. And the captain here, I took in a lengthy trip to Columbia last year and I've been wearing them ever since. I've put them through the paces. I really know the pros and cons of each boot based on pretty rigorous experience. It's kind of like time-tested tradition versus like industry disrupting new guys. So they've both got a lot of things to talk about, but let's start with like a general look at the aesthetics so you can get an idea as to what kind of wardrobe they might fit into. So the Iron Ranger is a really old fashioned boot. It's modeled after what the iron miners used to wear in the Masabi Iron Range in Minnesota. As you can see, I think probably the thing that leaps out at you the most when you first look at this boot is the toe cap, of course. It is pretty round as well. It's not a sleek design by any means. It's a true toe cap as well. It's two layers of leather here. And the Iron Ranger, it I think justifiably gets called clown shoes sometimes. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's bulbous. You know, this is not like a dressy looking boot. And I think that's really accentuated by the nickel eyelets here. Like you just can't wear these with slacks. Like nickel eyelets look really silly coming out the bottom of a suit. So this is a firmly casual boot. The leather is really thick and outdoorsy. Uh, this is an oil tanned leather. And the sole, this here is nitrile cork, but actually in 2018, they changed the soles of all the Iron Rangers to a Vibra mini lug sole. So now it has a little bit better grip. The Thursday Captain boot, on the other hand, there are a lot of differences with this boot. Obviously it is a much sleeker design. It also has the toe cap, but this boot, like the Red Wing Iron Ranger is a beefy boot. Like it's beefy and it's chunky. The Thursday Captain boot, this is intended to be a hybrid of the dress and work boot. So in that manner, I think it fits into more outfits. So I think the Thursday Captain is easier to dress up. Like it's not bulbous. This is a very sort of streamlined silhouette on this shoe. The leather as well is easy to dress up. The uh, leather on the Red Wing was oil tanned leather. This is Thursday Chrome. It's mostly chrome tanned. So it has more of a sheen to it. It's a bit more supple. And the outsole meanwhile is uh, just a standard rubber with recessed lugs so that when you look at it from the side, it's nice and flat like the Iron Ranger is as well. So overall aesthetics wise, just in summary, I don't think anyone can argue with this. The Iron Ranger, it is a work boot. The Captain, it is a combination dress work boot. So it's just more versatile. I think that's pretty hard to deny. It goes with way more outfits. It doesn't have these ostentatious nickel eyelets or the round bulbous toe cap on the Iron Ranger. The Captain, you can wear it with a ton of different outfits. The Iron Ranger, it's an outdoorsy boot. So let's talk about this leather. One of the coolest things about Red Wing is that they have their own tannery called SB Foot Tanning Co. Uh, produces about 6 million linear feet of leather per year and most of it is oil tanned, including this amber harness leather. Now you may be shocked that this is amber harness given how dark it is. That's because I conditioned these with Obernaufs, which just darkened the hell out of the leather. I should not have done that. If you want to avoid that mistake, I suggest you check out my video on conditioning Red Wings right there. But this is full grain oil tanned leather. It's tanned with white mineral oil along with some other ingredients. And I think oil tanned leather honestly is very underrated. It's very hardy. Uh, it doesn't need much conditioning. And it's like hard to scratch or damage it, which again sort of suggests the boots general like rugged outdoorsy feel. Thursday's leather is quite different. This boot is available in a bunch of different leathers, including a few from Halloween Leather Company. But the flagship Captain is made from Thursday Chrome from Lafarque Tannery. And it's considerably easier to dress up than the more matte leather from Red Wing. Again, this is uh, this leather is sort of similar to Creme XL. It's quite a lot more vibrant and lustrous than Red Wing's. I will note the leather is ever so slightly thinner than Red Wing's. This is 1.8 millimeters thick. Red Wing's is two millimeters thick. This doesn't really make any difference as far as durability goes, but it does mean that leather on the Thursday like contours the foot a little bit better, which helps keep this more kind of sleek, refined silhouette. So with the soles, I'm gonna try and keep this pretty quick. Again, I've got the nitrile cork. If you get a pair of Iron Rangers today, you're gonna to have the Vibram Mini Lug here. And after that outsole, it's got a cork midsole and a leather insole and a steel shank in there as well. It's also attached to the upper with a 270 degree Goodyear welt. So a Goodyear welt means a shoe is a lot easier to resole than like a, your pair of sneakers 
or your oblique stitch dress shoes. So that's a big bonus of this shoe. Uh, I will say it's a 270 degree Goodyear welt. So as you can see, the stitching goes around the boot, but it does not go around the heel here. It's like an aesthetic thing. Some guys don't like the stitching going around the heel. However, unlike a 360 degree Goodyear welt, uh, the 270 degree is just a little bit less water resistant. The Thursday Captain boot does have the 360 degree Goodyear welt, and the stitching is also, I think it's more subtle. So while it does go around the heel, I don't think it makes for a less dressy looking heel. It doesn't really stick out. It's not an ostentatious sort of uh, lip around the shoe, which some people like. And again, contributes to the sleeker silhouette of the boot. With the soles, you got this rubber outsole. Like the Iron Ranger, it's got a cork midsole and a leather insole and a steel shank. That leather and the cork especially means that it molds the shape of your foot over time. So something that both shoes have going for it. However, there's something else really interesting going on in the sole of the Captain boot. And that is that it has a Jura EVA comfort strip in there, which is a material that's often used in athletic sneakers. And it makes for a boot that has a bit more bounce to its step. Like the Iron Ranger, one of my biggest complaints is that it just has really bad shock absorption. It feels like you're walking around in hardwood all day. It's a very old fashioned boot, you know, like that's sort of what they're going for. You want it to feel like a pair of boots that your grandpa or great grandpa wore. If that's what you like, then fine. But the Captain boot, it has much better shock absorption. It's got a bit more spring in your step. And when you combine that with the fact that the Captain boot is leather lined as well, it's definitely, I mean, it's more comfortable. It's a more luxurious feeling. You know, it doesn't make you feel like you're wearing boots 100 years ago. This is a very modern approach to comfort. Good shock absorption, good kind of springiness, uh, much less likely to get blisters. I did not have a break-in with the Captain. The Iron Rangers, I had big chunks of skin falling off my foot for that first week as the break was happening. It was not fun. So all of that stuff for comfort combined with the fact that the Captain has a 360 degree Goodyear welt, so it's more water resistant. I don't know, I gotta say, sole-wise, I prefer the Captain boot. So when it comes to fit and sizing, both shoes are available in medium and wider widths. The Captain at the moment is available in sizes 6 through 15, whereas the Iron Ranger is 7 through 14, so it doesn't have quite as wide a range of sizes. For the fit itself, they have very different lasts, as you can see. The Thursday Captain boot, again, is a sleeker sort of silhouette, so it cues closer to the natural shape of the foot, and it feels more like it's sort of cradling your foot when you're wearing it, which with the leather lining is a pretty nice feeling. The Iron Ranger, on the other hand, it's a roomier fit. It has a more voluminous last and a rounder toe, so it kind of depends on what you prefer, like what kind of feeling you like when wearing your boots. To sum up the comfort thing though, as I mentioned in the previous section, the Iron Ranger really does not have good shock absorption and the break-in was a total nightmare. The Captain is fully leather lined, it's got this EVA comfort strip, so it has pretty good shock absorption. I did not have a break-in with this, and it's more lightweight. So it kind of depends on what you feel like. If you like sort of clunkier, stumpier, more old-fashioned sort of heavy boots, you might want to go with the Iron Ranger. The Captain, I think, is more friendly on the foot though. Now, obviously a pretty important part of comparing two boots is the price. Uh, Red Wing Iron Rangers, these are gonna cost you between $300 and $320, depending on where you get them. There's a boot company, on the other hand, uh, they have a pretty low markup on their boots and they're direct to consumer as well. They have a couple stores here in New York City, but uh, most of their stuff is done online, so they save a bit of money on overhead. Long story short, they're $199 for a pair of Thursday Captain boots, which is a very ridiculous price for a pair of Goodyear welted boots. I would expect, like, given the construction and the materials, for them to be a good $100 more expensive than that. But they're not. They're $100 less expensive than the Red Wing Iron Rangers, so they're pretty obviously the winner when it comes to price. All right, so which one's the better boot? I mean, this is all completely subjective, of course. I'm just gonna run through the pros and cons of each boot as I see it, so you can make up your own mind. The Red Wing Iron Ranger, definitely the best thing about this boot, the thing that few people disagree with is that it is tough. It's a tough as nails boot, and if what you want is a heavy, stompy, clumpy, clunky, beefy kind of boot that you can really wear outdoors and really beat up. The Iron Ranger is a good shoe for that. It's very old fashioned, like there's nothing modern going on here. It's very much like what your grandpa might have worn, which is something that appeals to a lot of people. Like I get that. I will say though, it does have plenty of downsides. Besides the fact that it's $100 more expensive than the Captain boot, I don't like the uh, shock absorption. They're not the most comfortable boots in the world. They do mold to the shape of your foot over time with that cork midsole. But especially relative to the Thursday, which we're gonna get into, it is not as comfortable. Uh, feels like you're walking around on wood. And with the versatility, it's definitely an outdoorsy boot. I keep saying this, but the round toe, uh, the kind of bulbous toe cap, the nickel eyelets, the outdoorsy kind of leather, it's not something you can dress up. So definitely, I would say the versatility and the comfort and the price are probably the biggest downsides. With the Captain, besides the very remarkable value, the thing I associate with them the most is versatility. Like, you don't have to hate the Iron Ranger to acknowledge that it's just easy to work with the uh, Captain boot in more outfits. This whole dress work boot hybrid thing that the company is pioneering, I think really succeeds. 
This goes with a ton more outfits, not just because of the silhouette, but also because like the leather is more handsome. It's got a nicer sheen to it. And speaking from experience, I've worn this with just about every outfit that I have. And that's something I definitely can't say for the Iron Ranger. So that's a really big bonus for me. And also the comfort as well. That EVA comfort strip uh, also is fully leather lined as well. The shock absorption is good. They both have decent arch support. But definitely I would find that the Captain is a more comfortable boot as well. Now, I love Red Wing as much as the next guy. Like they're a real institution in the world of men's boots. This pair here of Iron Rangers was the second pair of boots I ever bought. And my first pair were also Red Wings. They're good boots. Like it depends on what your priorities are. Like if your biggest priority is to get boots that are heavy, stumpy, clunky kind of boots, then this is the boot for you. If what you want is a rounded toe cap, like yeah, this would be the boot for you. If what you really want from a pair of boots is uh, for them to sort of feel like they were made 100 years ago, like the same kind of boots that your grandpa would have worn, that's Red Wing. Like they're very proudly an old fashioned sort of company. But look, like a lot has changed in the last 100 years and we can make some pretty interesting boots these days with more modern techniques. Thursday is a newer company and they have a more sort of innovative approach to making their boots. There's an EVA strip, it's also fully leather lined. Like I think this is pretty subjective, but like I definitely think this is a more comfortable boot. Shock absorption is way better and so on. I think it is a lot harder to deny the fact that they're simply more versatile. Like you don't have to hate the Iron Ranger to acknowledge that this is a different sort of boot. It's way more versatile, it goes with way more outfits. Frankly, I think it saves you money if you don't want to get a dress boot and a work boot for different occasions because it just fits into a bunch of different occasions. So if comfort is your priority, I think I like the Captain's better. If versatility is your priority, definitely the Captain's. If value is, of course, they're $100 less expensive. Even if water resistance is your biggest priority, this has a 360 degree welt, so it's more water resistant. So I don't know, again, I do love the Iron Rangers. I think if you are looking for a pair of boots, you don't own any boots, you get a few hundred dollars to spare. I just think that Thursday is going to serve you in more environments. All right, so that's my comparison of Red Wing and Thursday. I know that was pretty controversial, but look, it's just my opinion. It's super free to disagree, and I'm looking forward to hearing your comments below. If you could have one pair of boots, let me know which one you would get and why. And make sure you subscribe as well, because I got a ton more boot reviews and comparisons coming up.